Welcome back to Doctor in the House. There's a lot to think about when you're buying a pair of sunglasses. So we've asked optometrist Kristen Heaney to join us to give us the lowdown on what we should think about and what we should sort of pass on. Thanks for being here. Okay. <laughs> no problem. So how important is it to wear sunglasses at all? It's really important to have UV protection for your eyes. Same way for your skin. It's a lot of the same health kind of issues and things. Right. Um, so part of what we wanted to look at is, first of all, UV protection. Okay. So when we're trying to choose a pair of Which sunglasses. Which is UV ultraviolet rate yeah. protection from the sun. Okay. Exactly. Do all sunglasses have it? Most do, but it all depends on sort of the material and the treatments that have been done to it. So you want to look for something that says like UV 400 or 100% UV. It doesn't necessarily make a difference though if it's high or low end. Okay, and it usually has a little sticker right on it, yeah. right? All right, you've got some sunglasses yep. here that you can show us whether they're UV protected or not. These are how much? Five bucks? These are a pair that were five bucks. Okay. So basically with this, bring it you in. Can see the and it comes down to zero. Zero means there's no, no UV, UV getting, getting through. through okay, good. So, so did, I mean, I have, I've, um, indulged in a pair of expensive sunglasses, does that mean they're better or not necessarily? The UV protection isn't necessarily any different. Mm -hmm. Where some of it starts to make a bit of a difference, this is another cheapy pair from a beach in Mexico. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, did I waste my money. <laughs> <laughs> but where it makes a big difference has more to do with the optics and the optical quality of the lens itself. So, so the clarity of the lens? Yeah, so you can get less distortion through high quality right. premium lens. Can you show me that at all? Is yeah, there a way to I've got this sort of little meter here. Um, Those are two clear lenses. These Let's show them. Yep, okay. two clear lenses basically. Mm -hmm. And they both have UV protection in them. Okay. Um, so, so far we're starting equal. And but when you look at them under the light, this one here has a lot less distortion, so you can see it has just a dark, even kind of tone. Right. Whereas this one has all kinds of color fringing. When you look through this type of lens, you're going to get more distortion towards the periphery. Things may have a little bit of a warp to them or a little bit of a distortion. And this is where sometimes people don't like to wear sunglasses. Right, because it's not as clear. Because it's not as like clear. So a lot of times I'll take my sunglasses off to read something because I can't see yeah. it with the glasses on. And that's where a higher quality lens right. is going to give you better optics. Well, is a darker lens um, more protection on your eyes? Not necessarily. So these lenses here were perfectly clear and they have 100% UV protection as well. So the tint has more to do with your comfort level. So when you're outside on a beach or the bright light, so even you know the lighter tint still can give you the UV protection. Right. Is it um, important for our kids to wear sunglasses? Very important. At what age should you start? Well, it's just birth, but it's kind of impractical. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so How about you know, a hat at birth? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hat and you know the little UV kind of protectors and shades and things like that right. um, is what we want to start with. But once the kids get a little bit older, trying to use some of the sort of the baby sunglasses and things like that, trying to encourage a hat and sunglass from a young age is a good idea. I mean, what can happen if you don't put your kids in sunglasses until they're teenagers? With long-term exposure to the UV, basically there's a few things that can kind of happen. Things like cataracts, macular degeneration, even just sort of the redness and the aging of the eyes. Um, if we're spending a lot of time on the beach or like skiing, snowboarding and stuff, you can actually get like a burn on the surface of the eye as well. Wow. So you really want to protect everything. All right, most important thing, wear your sunglasses. Make sure they look good. <laughs> wear them at night if you have to. I don't know. <laughs> Kristen Heaney, thanks so much for being All here. Right, I appreciate nice it. We're going to come back with Q&A with Dr. Dave, but first, here's a medical memory for you.